I do love it when Mr. T is in the house. It's always fun. Does he not have... Does Mr. T not have the laugh you would least expect him to have? <laughs> it's Mr. T, and then all of a sudden, whenever he laughs, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. All right, my first guest just received his fourth Emmy nomination for playing Will on the NBC show Will and Grace, which returns September 29th with a live episode to kick off its eighth season. And actually, it's the final season. Please welcome Eric McCormick. <laughs> Last time I saw you was in Canada. That's right, that's right. We did a week of shows in Canada. May all, may all French Canadians hate you. They <laughs> pissed off I, the whole country. That's what I do. I like to get into a country, <laughs> alienate them all, and then get out of Dodge it's fast. Very exciting. Um, but uh, thanks for being here. I want to, you know what, I'm always, uh, yeah, I, I have to admit, I read all the, uh, you know, the In Touch and Insta, oh, all those magazines. Yeah, we all look at those magazines. And the other day I'm flipping through one because my wife gets them. I hate them. Uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm always trying to read literature. And. Uh, <laughs> And, uh, and I'm flipping through In Touch magazine, and they printed this thing about you where they said that you were spotted at a gym oh, for on the treadmill sake. singing YMCA at the top of your lungs. Okay. I'm and I'm thinking, that's not a good rumor to have no. out there. I'm glad you brought this up because okay. it's, it's based on some truth. It was printed in Vancouver because that's where I was. I was on the treadmill, and I, I'm getting a little, a little crazy. Were you listening to me? You the had the music on, yeah. on, yeah. But I was listening to Back in Black. This is true. I, listen, I, I was listening to ACDC. You were listening to ACDC, and, and were you singing uh, Back in Black out loud? Uh, well, no, I, I, I was just doing a lot of air guitar. It probably looked like, like dancing. I guess when you think about it, ACDC, village people, they, they both dress in funny costumes. But I mean, I, I think that ultimately... But the songs are completely, completely different, Completely different, Yeah, people. how would they... So what they just print... Someone just said it was YMCA. I know it's not like In Touch to make stuff up. <laughs> but... I was okay. mad because I was in the post the other day. There was a sighting of Conan O'Brien. All the other celebrity sightings, except for yours, are pretty cool. You know, like people, they're, usually right. they're cool, like someone getting drunk and dancing on a table or somebody, Sean Penn punched somebody, something cool like right. that. Mine was Conan O'Brien was spotted at a bookstore in the poetry section. <laughs> That's all. What the hell is that all about? It's almost First as bad all, as YMCA. Not, yeah, yeah. It's, almost as bad. And I was singing YMCA. <laughs> and I was wearing leather chaps. It's, uh... Reading the collected works yes, of the village people. Exactly. Mm. They're very good, those people. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you mentioned Canada. Do you get back to... You are a Canadian. I am. You, do you get back there very often? I was back. I had a break this summer and uh, went back, visited a friend of mine in Penticton, on uh, British Columbia, which is kind of like the Napa Valley of Canada. <laughs> but it is, because there's all the wineries. Pen, I'm saying it. Pent Penticton. Penticton. Beautiful uh, town. And uh, I, love, I love visiting small towns anywhere because I always find there's this fascinating mix of, of civic pride and civic shame. You know, they don't get a lot of celebrities, so, so people come up to me in the street and go, I'm so excited you're in my town. Why the hell would you ever come here? Right. <laughs> Why would anyone come I here? I can't wait to get out of here. What are you doing here? Can I come with you? Uh, is there stuff to do in this town? Penticton? It's, yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's cottage country. It's really beautiful. The best thing is two big lakes, and they're connected by a channel. And people get in inner tubes and, and rubber rafts, and they just sort of float. They, so they, they, they get it in one lake, they get in the tube, they and then you the just thing. sit so, in it, and you float. That's my nice. wife and my son and I are floating, and we're having this fantastic time, and we're halfway down. It's like a two-hour float. And I suddenly realize, how, how are we going to get back to the car? We haven't thought of this. I you have, didn't make an arrangement? I'm in a bathing suit. I got no wallet. I got no phone. There's no, nothing waiting for us at the other end. So we show up, and we're sort of standing there, wet and cold, and these two girls, young girls in bathing suits and bikinis come up and go, um... <laughs> This is, by the way, the international sign for, for, for bikini. bikini. Yeah, <laughs> they're wearing bathing suits. And, uh, and they said, we, have to, "We just have to tell you, we really love your show." And I said, "Oh, thank you." Do you have a car? <laughs> uh, so I, so I, get, I get in. I'm wearing only a bathing suit. They're wearing bathing suits. We get into their little like AMC Pacer or something. And I look back at my wife, and she's like. You got 20 minutes, pal. 20 <laughs> minutes. See, that, that's the rumor you want in, uh, in In Touch magazine, Somebody that you were said. sighted with two bathing beauties in a car. Yeah. That's the cool thing, but no. I, I'm just getting in thinking, you know, dear Penthouse Forum, I never thought this would happen to me. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's, that's what I wanted. I'm already right. <laughs> 
send it in, see what happens. I know they're made up. So I think they are. Um, you have a, how old's your son, you He's said? He's three, just turned three. Okay, what's he like to do right now? I have a two-year-old, so I'm just curious. What's a three-year-old, what what's um, your son doing? He's into everything. He's into knights and pirates and, and you know, painting, finger painting. Finger painting, that's pretty good. Um, He's finger painting? Well, it's actually, uh, he, he was painting naked one day. Um, <laughs> he learned that from me. And, yeah. and there was, <laughs> He was sitting and in, in the painting all over this, and, and uh, we looked away for a second, we looked back, and he had actually picked up a brush, but now he was actually painting his penis. <laughs> and that's, that's a, that probably might, might be a new school of art, yeah. It might be, and he, he just kind of looked at me and he said, look, Daddy, pink. <laughs> and I thought, you know, that's just such an obvious color choice. <laughs> you know, I, you know, Why didn't you, you go know, for you're blue? You're obviously very lateral. Yeah, uh, aquamarine. Thinker. Yeah, yeah. And, and I looked at my wife like, "What do we do?" And she said, "Look, look at it this way. It's, it's, it's the first time that he's ever colored within the lines." You know, oh, which nice. I thought, yeah, which that's I, just a lot of discipline. Yeah, very good. He's clearly body painting is that's in some talent. Now let's talk about this. Is uh, for, by the way, congratulations. This is your fourth. Emmy nomination, right. and you you won an Emmy, is that right? You I won, won one. In, yeah, that's right, in 2001. That's nice. And so you've, you've is, is there still pressure then? Do you still feel like, I really want that Emmy, or do you feel like, I've got one, I'm all right? You know, one is great, but two, you can... <laughs> You can do like salt and pepper shakers. Sure. You know what I mean, with that, because the thing with the, right, you know the right. giant ones in the restaurant. Yes, it's yeah. Pepper, sir. And it's the pepper, yeah, yeah. Um, but those, you gotta be careful with those things. You They're know, the little... Emmy is, I don't know if people can tell when you look at the Emmy, the Emmy is extremely dangerous. It's, it's a... heavy and it's the sharpest yeah. award. It's, it's a weapon. It's more a weapon than an award. Absolutely. It's the most dangerous award. The People's Choice Award is also very heavy. But the, uh, the, the Emmy Award has t the wings of the, I guess it's the angel, stick up like this. And this is a true story. Don Adams, when he won for, uh, for Get Smart. Star of Get Smart, yeah. Uh, in, I think it was 69. He and Don Rickles got absolutely drunk at the, uh, at the after party, and he passed out on... on oh, my Emmy God. And, uh, ...and bled onto his tux. Didn't know it. <laughs> it was loaded, but... Walked uh, around with the Emmy hanging I, off. I yeah. That. That's nice, too. Where is it? I can't find it. Waddle, waddle, waddle. Uh, um, that can happen. Uh, okay, you got to be careful. Are you mm -hmm. going to, uh, if you, uh, are you, if you lose, are you good at, at just, uh, you know, being a good sport you about know, it? I have been, but I think this year, to hell with it. I, you know, if they, if they cut back to me because they want that look, you know, the, the, the noble loser look, I'm just, I'm going to give them the finger. That's good. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Tune in for that. Oh. I'm going to watch for that. Uh, now, uh, Will and Grace returns for its eighth and final season. You can't leave this network. We need you guys. Uh, <laughs> don't, we don't really want to, but we just we, we want to make sure that it ends on a high note. Right, you know, okay. Uh, not me. I'm going to ride it and ride it and ride it. <laughs> I'm going to wait till this mule dies underneath me. <laughs> Step off its course, uh, corpse and get another one. Uh, and then this is the final season, and it's a live episode on September 29th. Are you yeah. worried about the live episode? Are you excited about it? I mean, uh, I, I'm excited about it. We're all theater people, and sure. I just think it could, be, uh, it could be a blast. And if we screw up and swear, hey, that would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good luck to you with the Emmys, and thanks Pleasure. for stopping by. Thank good to have you here. Eric McCormick, Morgan Spurlock, coming up to take a break. We'll be right back.